Hello. The purpose of this uh, video is to help um, first year students to be able to, first year students in computing, to be able to select courses uh, for the upcoming year. Okay, this is advising for the 2021 22 um, academic year. I'm Dr. Uh, Folkham, Daniel Folkham, I'm one of the out, I'm one of the outgoing undergraduate coordinators in the Department of Computing. All right. So um, the Department of Computing has um, the following degree programs. Uh, in computer science, we have a Bachelor of Arts and a Bachelor of Science. Um, information Technology, we have the Bachelor of Science. In Software Engineering, we have two programs, actually. Um, a three-year um, Software Engineering program, which gives you a BSc. And then there's also a Software Engineering a mobile application technologies program, which is four years long. You also get the Bachelor of Science, uh, but that program was designed such that students spend two years in the Caribbean and two years in China. And then we have the computer studies option, which is basically a combination of computing courses and math and social sciences courses. Now, all you need uh, to be able to major in any of these disciplines is two units of a CAPE science subject. And uh, CAPE science subjects are any one of um, biology, chemistry, uh, computer science, physics, or pure mathematics. Okay, so um, you're beginning um, your academic degree uh, journey at the uh, UWE, and it's important uh, to know what the graduation requirements are. So um, with the exception of the Software Engineering Mobile Application Technologies Program, which is somewhat special, um, all our other programs will require that you have a minimum of 93 credits at uh, graduation time. Of these credits, um, 24 must uh, be at level one, that's year one, and um, of those 24 credits, 18 uh, credits have to be from within the Faculty of Science and Technology. Um, you're going to be required to have a minimum of 60 advanced credits. Advanced credits are from levels two and three, um, and in addition to having this meet the requirements for whatever your program will have, okay? Um, and then you have to have a minimum of nine credits from your foundation courses. Um, those credits must include either found 1014 or 1019, and then um, found 1301 and found 1101, but you can replace these um, any one of these two foundation courses with uh, foreign language course that is at your level of competency. Um, and you can refer to the uh, presentation from the faculty office, uh, Dr. Shireen James Williamson um, explained this uh, regulation with um, replacing the foreign languages. Okay, so um, a common question um, that comes up in uh, academic advising is, which um, level one courses can you take? to meet the in-faculty credits? Well, um, you can take any um, in-faculty credits that align with the CAPE subjects that you have, because many of these um, courses at level one will have CAPE um, prerequisites. That, so you have, that have CAPE, you have whose CAPE prerequisites you have, and also that match with your interests. Um, another point, um, with um, the exception of the SWEN, you know, 1XXX um, courses, which are only re um, intended for the students in the uh, Software Engineering Mobile Application Technologies Program, there are only 15 uh, computing credits at level one. That means you have to take courses from um, other disciplines, okay? So now, let's talk about the level one courses um, that everyone will have to do in computing if you're majoring um, in computer science, or in any of the computing disciplines, not just computer science. Um, you have Comp 1126 and Comp 1127, and then um, Comp 1126 and 1127 are Introduction to Computing 1 and 2, and then you have Comp 1161, which is Object Oriented Programming, uh, Comp 1210, Mathematics for Computing, and Comp 1220, which is Computing and Society. Um, so. Uh, Comp 1126 and 1127 are offered in the same semester, and um, ideally, well, not ideally, 
all of you should be taking both Comp 1126 and 1127 in semester one. Uh, Comp 1126 is often in the first six weeks of the semester and Comp 1127 in the last six weeks of the semester. Um, these courses will have a lecture, a tutorial slash discussion, uh, and then a secondary tutorial and a lab. You must register for all the course activities. Um, if you are uh, doing both courses in the same semester, as all of you should be doing, uh, then you should register for the same lectures, tutorials, and lab times for both uh, Comp 1126 and 1127. It will look like they're clashing, but recall I said 1126 is offered in the first six weeks of the semester, 1127 in the next um, last six weeks of the semester. Um, Comp 1161 should be taken in the second semester. And then uh, Comp 1210 and Comp 1220 can be taken in either semester one or two based on your schedule. Do not sign up for any advanced that is levels two or three uh, courses. You don't qualify for any. At this point, um, you should be registering for um, level one courses. And these are courses where the first digit will be a one. Um, you may, if you've got a lower level matriculation offer, you may have to also take a prelim, uh, preliminary course. And these are courses where the first digit is a zero. Now, what are the suggested courses um, to take if you're majoring in either computer science or software engineering? That's a three-year software engineering program. Well, the first semester, you uh, should sign up for 1126 and 1127. And you can sign up for... Um, either uh, 1210 or 1220, Comp 1210 or 1220, then um, you take a, an elective from within the, uh, two electives from within the faculty. And uh, assuming you pass both 1126 and 1127, um, you uh, take 1161 in the second semester and then um, whichever one of 1220 or 1210 that you did not take in semester one, and then you can take um, three electives from anywhere in the university, including within the Faculty of Science and Technology. And then you take your first foundation course. Um, if your major, intended major, is information technology, uh, for information technology, uh, we allow students, uh, the faculty allows students to graduate if they have only uh, 15 um, credits within the faculty. Um, so they uh, can meet that requirement just by taking the five uh, courses from computing. So um, in semester one, you take uh, Comp 1126 and 1127, um, then either Comp 1210 or 1220, and then two electives from anywhere uh, in the uh, university. And semester two, you take Comp 1161, and then either Comp 1220 or 1210, whichever one you didn't take in the first semester. And then three more electives from anywhere in the university and then a foundation course. Now, the computer studies option, as I mentioned, uh, combines um, computing and mathematics and courses from social sciences. So, um, and this program doesn't allow you to have majors and minors, okay? You just have on your degree computer studies option. Uh, but what do you do? In the first semester, you take uh, Comp 1126, uh, Comp 1127, uh, Math 1141, Math 1142, uh, then Econ 1000, and either um, you know Soci 1002 or Accounts 1005. And then in the uh, second semester, you take uh, Comp 1161, Comp 1220, uh, Math 1151, Math 1152, Econ 1012 and either uh, Psych 1002 or Accounts 1003. Um, the content of uh, that you would have gotten from Comp 1210 will is essentially satisfied by the Math 1152 requirement. Then, um, if you want to um, go into the Software Engineering Mobile Application Technologies program, um, I you will take in the first semester Comp 1126, 1127, Comp 1210, and Comp 1220, and SWEN 1006. And then in the second semester, you take Comp 1161, SWEN 1003, SWEN 1005, SWEN 1007, and SWEN 1008. Um, note that this program, 
uh, has a very different fee structure from all the other programs and it will cost you about uh, 10,000 US dollars per year okay so uh, take that into account if you want to major in this um, program so um, what are your next steps well you should prepare a degree plan and to uh, get the degree plan you can go to the faculty of uh, science and technology uh, website and um, download a degree plan so to download the degree plan you go to uh, www.mona.ue.edu slash um, backslash fst uh, slash um, fst um, or slash fst um, and then uh, over at the uh, bottom you will see plan your degree you click on that link and it will give you a, um, a an excel spreadsheet that you can fill out um, you talk to an academic advisor um, within the department of computing if you have questions about computing courses okay that is um, really where um, a lot of our advice is if you have questions about courses from another department contact that department about those courses um, advisors in the department can own, of computing only give you advice on computing courses then um, register for your courses when registering for your courses on SAS is how you indicate that you want to take a course okay so just to give you a sense of what is coming uh, down the uh, road um, so for both computer science and IT um, you take the five courses computing courses that I specified in year one you pass them we assume and then in um, the second year uh, these are just the core courses you're going to take um, comp 2201 which is discrete math uh, comp 2211 which is analysis of algorithms uh, comp 2171 uh, object technology um, then take uh, comp 2140 um, that's software engineering comp 2190 net centric computing and comp 2340 uh, computer architecture and organization um, if on the other hand your major is information technology um, you take the three courses in red and then you also take uh, info 2100 math and statistics for IT um, info 2110 which is data structures for IT and info 2180 which is um, an introduction to web programming then um, at the third year the core courses for uh, computer science are the operating systems course comp 3101 um, comp 3220 that's the artificial intelligence course the database course uh, comp 3161 and the group project course comp 3901 um, if your major is information technology you take comp 3161 and comp 3901 in addition to um, the um, five courses listed here info 3105 info 3110 Info 3155, Info 3170, and Info 3180. Um, note that these are only the core courses. You're going to have to take elective courses as well. Um, and you will find out more about those when you do your second year advising or if you read the handbook. Uh, if you intend to major in the software engineering in general, um, then you have to take uh, you take the first five courses at level one, and then at uh, second year, you take COMP 2140, COMP 2171, COMP 2190, COMP 2201, COMP 2211, and uh, then at third year, you will take um, SWEN 3130, um, SWEN 3145, SWEN 3185, uh, SWEN 3920, and COMP 3911. Okay. So, um, when you register, you might see some uh, errors, and I'll just talk about a few of those errors. So, for example, you may see a prerequisite and test score error. This will indicate that you do not have all the prerequisites for a given course. For example, um, the university may not have records of passes in both units of a Cape Science subject, for example. Um, or you may see a program restriction error. This will happen if you're trying to register for a course that is restricted to students in a certain program. So for example, the SWEN uh, one um, 
1XXX courses are limited to students whose declared major is software engineering, mobile application technologies. So if you try to register for that program, a course um, in that program, you're going to see an error uh, telling you you have a program restriction. Um, a campus restriction will indicate that you're trying to register for a course that's not available at your campus. So for example, you are a Mona student trying to register for a course at the Western Jamaica campus or vice versa. Um, you may see um, a linked course required error that basically will indicate that you have not selected all the parts of a course for registration. Remember I said for Comp 1126 and 1127 you have to take the, register for the lecture, the, um, primer, the tutorial, secondary discussion and tutorial, the uh, lab. So if you don't register for all of these activities, then you're going to see uh, a link course required error. Um, a maximum hours exceeded error will indicate that you have exceeded the maximum number of credits for that semester. Um, what is that? If you are a full-time student, then you can take a minimum of um, 15 credits plus um, a foundation um, and a maximum of 18 credits plus a foundation course. Okay. Um, if you're part-time, the rules are a little bit different. All right. So we're near the end. So what? Um, some parting remarks. Um, you're now at university, and so you have to take ownership of your learning in a different way from what you did in high school, okay? Um, so how can you do that? Schedule your time. You're going to have a timetable on the system once you register. You know when your classes are. Um, you, will, you should also schedule the times when you're going to study, and also schedule time for your other activities, right? You, you have a life outside of school. So schedule that in. Um, make sure that you attend your course sessions. Um, so there's a reason why, you know, the courses are designed such that they have lectures, labs, you know, tutorials, and, and so on. That's because we know that these activities are necessary for you to perform the way we expect you to perform. So attend these course sessions. Another thing with computing, it's a little bit, for those of you who play a musical instrument, a little bit like, you know, a musical instrument. You get good at it as you practice. So practice, right? If you go to your tutorial, you see a problem being solved on the board. Well, when you get home, write the code, run it, okay? If it's a math course, you know, practice the problems. Try to understand, okay? Um, another um, piece of advice, academic integrity. This is very important. Uh, you may be tempted to cheat. Uh, do not. Okay. Uh, cheating is very uh, serious. Um, if you are found um, and you, you you're found guilty, you can get an EI on your record. That basically means you have an exam irregularity, and that does not go away. Okay. It's going to stay with you even after you leave the university. So when people ask for your transcript, this indication is going to be on your transcript indicating that you were found guilty of cheating. Um, and sadly, students have been found guilty of cheating over the last two years, okay? So you may be tempted, don't give in to the temptation. All right, and so if you have any questions, uh, the um, undergraduate coordinators for the 2021-22 uh, academic year in computing are Drs. Uh, Philippa Bennett and Paul Gaynor and their email addresses appear on the screen. Um, all the best to you as you start your academic journeys at uh, the UE in computing.